Oh, Captain, my Captain, I must say, Harstam, you are looking quite dashing today. Unfortunately, that is the end of my kindness today. After much deliberation and consideration with an elite group of StarCraft 2 players, the All Things Protoss Discord, I think I speak for all Protoss players when I say Terran is Imba. Well, first of all, if there is one thing that the All Things Protoss Discord is very elite at, it's either wine or being idiots, and probably both things at the same time, but I'm not quite sure if it would be considered an elite group of StarCraft 2 players. But I digress. It's so simple to play Terran, honestly. I got placed in Diamond 3, drunk and without a build, exclamation mark. You know what I did, Kev? Dot, 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 dot. I made Stim. Stim is the most broken upgrade in all of StarCraft 2. All you need to do is press Z for my grid enjoyers and A move in. 3-3 Protoss. No matter, marine shred. And the cherry on top of this melted ice cream sundae is the ghost. Oh boy, the ghost. That puppy can invalidate a 200-200 Protoss army with the click of a button. I need to micro my heart out and Terran gets the A move. There is a reason StarCraft 2 offers Terran as the beginner race. It is so easy. And I know this isn't the skill issue or the problem with me. My builds are crisper than an autumn apple. I would give Hero a run for his money. Honestly. And I am a known Call of Duty enjoyer. My mouse accuracy is impeccable, as I have a very high headshot percentage in Modern Warfare 2. Kev, I implore you, please observe this game and give us Protoss the answer we all know deep in our heart. Terran is Imba. P.S. Hamster, I love you and you're looking quite good today as well. All right. Name, Echo Soldier, race Protoss in the Diamond League with 3.1k MMR. And... My boy Echo Soldier is very angry, very upset about Terran and asks whether they're imbalanced or if he sucks. So let's figure it out. Before we continue with our scheduled program, we hired private investigator Herbert Amster to look a little bit deeper into those claims Echo Soldier made about Terran. He said he immediately got ranked Diamond 3 and just A move to victory. But the last official record of his Terran career dates back to late March with a whopping 33% win rate in Platinum 3. So he dropped the race after just 6 games. Of course, se 2 pulls is not an official Blizzard website, but those heavily support our revelation, as his Terran is just level 11. So to conclude, obviously Echo Soldier is a Terran expert, and his A-move strat worked flawlessly against the whole two people. We are in for a great one. Alright, that brings us over here to Cosmic Sapphire, the map that uh, dreams are made of. Pretty beautiful map, good for Protoss as well. So we see a gas first opener coming out of our Terran player and Echo Soldier opens up with a gateway first into an assimilator. Cheeky gateway scout, not checking around for any proxies as he just right away moves across the map and goes for a scout. And we'll figure out immediately what is going on here. Now the moment you scout a gas first, you know what's coming for you. Uh, it's just going to be a faster factory most of the time. Reaper into factory, the most common option. Although sometimes you see marine into factory, in which the factory gets built before the command center gets thrown down. Against both of these things that the Terran can do, you need to be extremely careful of early aggression, because it just hits a fair chunk faster than it usually would. Ooh, Nexus coming down at 19. Would you look at that? 19 Nexus, 19 core. This is actually one of my favorite builders at the moment. Except the core didn't really get built at 19. Hey, this is not okay, alright? I'm just... I just kind of want everyone to see this. I don't mind if you're playing 19 Nexus, 19 core. I'm a fan of this build order. But if you play this, build the core at 19. Don't build the core at 19 while you're floating 70 minerals. Because then it's just a 7... Uh, that's just a 20 core. And it's a 20 core where you're floating 20 minerals. That's incorrect. I do not enjoy that. If you're playing a build order, play it correctly. Especially if it's a, 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 such a tiny, beautiful variation that's become a lot more popular recently again that I'm a huge fan of. This also pisses me off already. I did not want to press the B button, which makes me go back about 15 seconds in the replay, before the two minute mark. That's one of the rules I have in IO, is that I don't want to be too annoying in the early game, but this just pisses me off. And I, I just want to have a look at the first person view here, because either Echo Soldier can't count, or the second option is he has absolutely no idea about priorities here. Look at this. Look at this. Hop. 
probe micro. Oh my god, look at that sick probe micro. Managed to block his opponent's CC for almost a full 9 or 10 seconds. While floating 300 minerals, forgetting his second gas, forgetting to continue building workers, and not getting a second pylon. Meaning that he's actually going to be supply blocked when his core finishes. My builds are crisper than an autumn apple. Which means that there's absolutely no use whatsoever here in getting that fast core, or in even trying to get that fast core. Now we get, oh my god, that's beautiful. Chrono boost here on the probes as well, no pylon whatsoever. Completely new build order here um, to start with. That's exactly what I like to see here on my, uh, what is it, Monday morning, Wednesday evening. I don't even know what day it is anymore. God. Life flies by. It's like I'm paralyzed by it. Now, we have a reactor as well as a factory following up. Do we believe that Echo Soldier understood that this was a gas first? I don't truly believe it. I don't think so. Um, I don't see anything... Well, it's very difficult to see whether he's playing safe or not. As his Nexus just finished at the exact same time as the pylon. His first gateway unit is starting 30 seconds too late. 30 seconds! That is very, very impressive. So you could forget your pylon entirely. Then build it and then still... Well, be, uh, be finished around this time. He also could have just not built the second pylon because his Nexus would finish before his pylon would finish. How many workers did this bad boy kill? Three workers get killed by the Reaper as a result of that. You make a major error in the early game and it actually gets punished. Now, I didn't know this happened at Diamond 3. Usually I thought what would happen at Diamond 3 is that one player makes a massive mistake and then the other guy looks at it and goes like, yeah, I think I can do worse than that and then sends seven SCVs across the map accidentally, walks it into a cannon, lifts both of his command centers at the same tile while simultaneously being supply blocked for 30 minutes in a row. But apparently Diamond, uh, what was this? I think it's Diamond 1. 3100 MMR. Maybe Diamond 2? I have no clue. Whatever it is, MMR is... Um, it, it, at least the Terran is playing a real build order. And that kind of makes me happy. Actually, pretty decent build order as well. So far, marine production has been on point. Out of our Protoss, so far, nothing has been on point. Except for the gas mining. We have five workers in a single gas. So just in case two workers get killed by another Reaper hop-in, there will still be three workers going at it. On top of that, these gateways were also way too late. Yeah, what was this builder? I haven't been paying it. Oh, nice. We also did a chrono boost. This is one of my favorite things to do, is when you build your gateways too late, is to chrono boost out your warp gate to truly kind of put a focus on the fact that your gateways are so late already. I'm not sure if he's trying to kind of reinvent the wheel here with a terrible build order. This Twilight Council was insanely late. Um, like actually insane late, holy crap. My builds are crisper than an autumn apple. I was gonna compare this to a regular build, but I don't even think it's possible. Like it, it just wouldn't make any sense. Usually, Blink is supposed to finish up in about 25 seconds from now. But instead it's going to finish up in about 7, no, what? In about 100 seconds from now. You're legitimately a minute and a half behind the regular timing. Or a minute behind? No, a minute and a half behind in the regular timing. That's very impressive. Your gateways were too late as well. I don't even think you can use all your gateways. You should have just stayed on two gate. Because you have so little workers. This makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. You're reinventing the wheel. It's like you've been stuck in the lab for five years reinventing the wheel. You come out with a square. It's like, well, first of all, that's worse than what you came out with. And second of all, it's really not a wheel. It's way worse than what you came out with. That's the same thing twice that I just said. And that's completely okay. Can be creative all the time. Now, we have a double mind drop for Marines coming in. Blink should have been done about 20 seconds ago, 25 seconds ago. Especially given the fact that this was a Nexus before core. You usually have a little bit more gas with that. Um, but none of that. You basically had all the risks and none of the rewards. That's a, that's a very, very cool move. That's like uh, juggling with crocodiles in the morning. For no reason whatsoever. Not even putting it on YouTube. Like, what's the point? And also, why are you hurting these crocodiles by juggling them? What is this? Solid response. I always wonder what these people look 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 at when this happens. Three pylons. Now, you might be wondering why they're being built in an almost perfect triangle formation. That is because... I guess this is the smallest amount of vision that it could grant you while still looking like you randomly placed them. So you create a lot of space to build gateways, but you get no vision with this whatsoever. 
It actually costs some amount of effort as well to put them this far apart. Rather than just clicking them bam, 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 you have to go all the way up with your mouse and then down again. It's quite impressive. Still didn't quite see what you're looking at right now. Let's have another look at it. First person view, first person view, first person view. Here come the three pylons. Beautiful little triangle. Sees that there's five workers in gas here. Looks at the minimap. Oh, she's the medevac fly into vision right now. Okay, like, hey, that looks interesting. Ah, dang it. Didn't manage to right click this. Should I split? Nah, probably too late. I'll just lose all of my workers instead. Very cool indeed. Huge fan of these moves, personally. Absolutely huge fan of these moves. So far, you've lost 14 workers in a five minutes game, um, which is an impressive pace, honestly. A very impressive pace. Armory is on the way. Okay, the Terran build order also makes no sense, though. Double eBay? An armory already on the way? Plus one before Stim and plus one before combat. Now, this barcode is very lucky that he didn't send in the replay. Because I would have tore him another one for this build order. Luckily, Echo Soldier is playing so extremely poor that it doesn't even really matter. I mean, what is this garbage? We have some oversupply right now. We have 33 workers. We still have five workers in gas. I don't even think we have a follow-up plan here yet. As that seems absolutely impossible to have any follow-up here whatsoever. I mean, there's just no cash in the bank either. Two observers are being built. Adept dies for free. Observer goes in and scouts right now sees... What is this? There's another barracks coming down. Sees the starport producing medevacs already. There's no stim or combat yet. This game is insane. Do we have a row bay while staying on two gas? And two more gates! I love that you looked at your base, you looked at your situation, and you thought to yourself, what could I really need right now? In this spot, I have no money. Uh, I can't afford any of my production structures. I have three gateways and a robo already. Let me just add two more gateways that I definitely cannot afford. Wasting 300 minerals, which could have been used for a faster nexus or for some gases in your next roll to actually get a colossus the moment this robo finishes, you decided to just waste it into these two gateways. My builds are crisper than an autumn apple. This kind of feels like that we're stuck on an island together and after I spent five hours long building a shelter, you come over and you tell me that you used all of our medical supplies to build a guitar that you can't tune. It's like, what? Why would you do this? First, you waste our medical supplies and then you give me a useless guitar, which only has four strings as well. It's like a crappy bass. And no one likes bass. This is also... What do they have that these don't? Hmm? Do they allow you to stay up for 20 more minutes to play another video game? Do they bring you coffee in the morning, these assimilators? What do they have that they don't? Oh, now they're good enough for you. Now they're good enough. All game long, they weren't good enough. But first you take these assimilators on the third base and then on the natural. Very cool moves. Some nice prioritization there, my friend. Definitely the smart thing to do. The base that isn't finished yet, getting the gases there. That is just fantastic. It's like, if you can't make ends meet at the end of the month, and you're not quite sure how, um, take a look at your bill, see that you spent $400 on dental floss. And that is despite you having no teeth, because you don't understand how to operate a toothbrush. Now... Here you go with your fancy assimilators at your third base. Base is gonna get taken out before you get any mining from it. You're actually completely dead already. And the rest of this game, I can already feel it, is going to be me wondering why you haven't realized that yet. And me then figuring out that you haven't realized it yet. Well, actually, no, you have scouting information. I kind of think that it's because you don't have any scouting information. But you should be rather aware right now that you're pretty dead. There's six barracks here. There is 1-1 one, one upgrades on the Terran army already. You're down 40 supply, down a base, down 20 workers. You don't even have charge yet, which I don't quite understand as possible. You researched thermal lens and then went into a disruptor. Did you already lose a Colossus? No, you just decided not to build it. Solid waste of money into the thermal lens. You love to see it. Boom. How would you get a disruptor after getting thermal lens first? How is it possible that you only have one robo unit? 
but you could afford thermal lands. This makes no sense. Your priorities are so insanely off. It may... It's actually ridiculous. Like, why are you taking out the rocks? You're obviously in a defensive position where every little bit of map texture, any anything that blocks your opponent from moving up, is going to help you. It's going to force your opponent to move through a tighter choke in which maybe you get the disruptor shot of a lifetime. Like, I don't quite understand that. Solid move. To the far left side. I'm not sure if this is making sure that there's no gold base here, or maybe Echo Soldier believed that the Terran actually spawned at the gold and thought he had full access to his main base. In that case, this observer must be really confused. Like, wait, he also has three bases over here, but I thought the gold was his main. Man, this map is a, is a mess. Observer speed? Why are we getting graphitic boosters right now? Surely. Yeah, okay, I guess because you have four observers. How can a man with so much vision be so blind for his own mistakes? Kevin the Koning, 2022. Actually, not that bad. It's a good quote to end the year with. Um, like, you have literally done absolutely nothing correct. You're just randomly moving around the map. You're not trying to gain map control. The map. Like, the one... Whenever you look at a game, you should be wondering... How can I win this game? Is there anything I can do to win this game? And immediately a couple of things come to mind. Like either I'm going to get insane disruptor shots. My opponent will attack into a super battery and I'm defining with Colossus. And uh, maybe I can go for a run by with Zealots while my opponent is moving out. For all of this, you need very detailed information of where your opponent's army is. You need observers over here. You need this watchtower. You need disruptors in position. You need batteries in order to be capable to actually defend when your opponent decides to attack. None of this is happening. You're pretending like this is a normal game, but you're down 50 supply. You're going to be down freaking infinite amount of upgrades. Your opponent legitimately has is going to have more barracks than you have gateways. I think this might be the first time that this ever happened in the history of StarCraft. Is this, if this wasn't already a completely unique, unique game by uh, the insane amount of terrible moves that you had made, the fact that this Terran just got more barracks done than you finished gateways in this game would have made it a completely unique game. My man is building four turrets. He's afraid of you right now. That's just because he doesn't know you. Because anyone that knows you would never be afraid of you. Not with this level of play. This is truly horrific. None of the concepts of making a comeback um, have been have been used so far. None of it. You've, you've literally been dead since minute four. Then you died again when you lost your third. Then I died looking at you play. Like, you probably killed a couple of my viewers today. Maybe with boredom. Maybe just due to the terrible decisions. It makes people's heart beat faster. I actually kind of often get emails from, from doctors telling me to not put out iodises anymore. Because it hurts a patient that they have. It's like their blood pressure can't handle it. Uh, this is going to be a push. Where you need to throw the disruptors into your opponent's army. First disruptor shot hits absolutely nothing. Which is impressive. This Terran honestly micros quite well. I'm actually somewhat impressed by this Terran. I don't quite understand how both of you are the same level. He also has like 60 APM more. What's this super battery doing? What? Did you just use the best defensive tool around? To heal up your army a little bit without fighting? Not using it on, 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 on top units? This is like scratching your butt with a stinger while your opponent only has helicopters. It's like that's not really what it's supposed to do my friend. You shoot it at the, at, the, at the things that fly with the propellers. This has truly been a horrific game. Why would you even send this? If you couldn't spot mistakes in this... Like, they were so clear as day. I, I don't even quite know. Usually there is some... Something. A slightly redeeming quality to the play. But here there was nothing. You lost... Four workers to a Reaper. 
your initial cybernetic score was 30 seconds, or your first unit was 30 seconds too slow. You got supply blocked after your first pylon. This is literally still within the first five lines of a build order guide. If this is the elite of the All Things Protoss, I don't want to see a bad player from the All Things Protoss Discord. Stay, stay out of my emails, stay out of my forms. This was the worst game I think I've ever seen. How is this diamond? I know North America wasn't doing that halt, but holy crap, you guys are in trouble. And it also once again shows that Call of Duty players truly are, <laughs> are there with inferior IQ. Like, this is just complete garbage gameplay. You lose every single worker to a mind drop. Then you lose your third base for free. And then the game is over. And you stay in for six minutes, seven minutes, waste everyone's time, including mine. And then you write this complaint form, which honestly was quite good and decently funny. This is the worst game I've seen. I can't believe that you honestly look at this game and think there was nothing wrong with this. It is simply impossible. I'm a very bad artist, okay? I've drawn things before in, in art class. And one time I went to a thing called, I think it was called the wine bar, where you drank, or the, like the wine art studio or something, where you drank wine. And then you had to make... Uh, I think it was tulips. My tulips ended up looking like wine glasses. And it wasn't good. But I looked at it and I thought to myself, I could improve a lot of things on this. It was one of the worst, worst art pieces that I've ever seen in my entire life. And it was the same with this game. I would never dare sending that to, you know, the, the, the paintbrush manufacturer or the, the paint manufacturer and start complaining about the quality of their brushes or the, the quality of their paint. I knew that it was my own terrible painting skills that sucked so hard. It had nothing to do with anything else. And you, my friend, should really get that same self-awareness. Because this was not imbalanced. You just suck. And that is how it is. And that is going to be it as well for me today. I'm a little bit sick. I'm going to go to bed, sleep for 25 hours. I come back tomorrow. I hope to have some better IOTIS forms in my inbox. If you think... You can do better than this. Be sure to leave something down in the description below. There's a Google form there where you can click it. You can upload it. And uh, I'll have a look at it. But this is the last time I'm doing something like this. Last time I got a game this bad. Like, I urge people to leave their email. I'll just flame you personally. But I'm not going to subject other people to this garbage. Because that is what it was. Utter garbage. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye.